Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me today. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate a feature which is found in Personas Studio 1 DAW version 4. I'm also going to be demonstrating it in Prime Edition with the Pro plugin add-on uh, bundle because we're going to be using the Pro EQ. Of course, that means you can use this same procedure in the artist and the professional version as well. But if you are using the free edition, the prime edition, without the add-on features, well, this only works with the Pro EQ to what I'm going to demonstrate. Now, one of the bread and butter of tools we can use during our mixing session is, of course, EQ and compression. And as always, we use our ears to adjust our EQ settings and the compression settings to get the best sound that we like for each of the instruments we are mixing. But sometimes it's helpful to know visually what some of the other instruments are doing when we are EQing a certain track, certain instrument. Let me demonstrate what I mean. Here I have a, a simple recording session and I've got two guitars. I've got a rhythm guitar here and I've got a solo guitar which uh, we're going to play to. And then when we play them together, now because the guitars are occupying the same frequency, it's a bit hard to hear the solo guitar. So we can use our ears to be able to adjust the EQ, the uh, rhythm guitar section, to give more space to the lead guitar to really stand out. And we, as I said, we can use our ears, but um, why don't we use a tool, a visual tool, to help us make that decision as well. So here we go. Let's uh, get our uh, uh, guitar and add a Pro EQ so we can adjust the rhythm guitar's EQ. Now, as you can see, that's dramatic EQing, but it also gives the space for the lead guitar time, so it will be automated, so it will adjust this and automate as I need uh, with the automation. If you don't know about automation, uh, I do have a video about it, and I can make another video if you request. Just comment below and that you want to see how automation of EQ uh, works. I'll make a um, video in the future. But just imagine that there is automation and that adjusting the frequency of the EQ as the solo lead guitar is playing. But how do we know where to adjust this? Well, here is our visual aid. We click on sidechain. This will allow the audio spectrum analysis to display not only the guitar, uh, rhythm guitars, audio spectrum, but as well as the solo guitars. So now that we've got sidechain enabled, we go into our solo guitar section. I'm running out of room. And then we add ascend to sidechain to the guitar inserts for the Pro EQ. Right, so let's have a listen now. Ah! We can actually see the pink line is the solo guitar. So now we can see where the frequencies are that we need to adjust.
Well, there we go. That's what the side chain on the Pro EQ does. It actually allows you to see another track feeding in to the audio spectrum so you can visually see what the other track audio frequency range is and then be able to make probably a better judgment, not just by your ears, but at the same time visually see where the frequencies are and do the adjustment of the frequency of the instrument you are editing. Well, that's it for another video. If you have any comments, any questions regarding what I've just shown you, if something is not clear, feel free to comment below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio.